Hello, my little purple kitten. If you're looking forward to get this type of makeup look, this glam um, back to school look, keep, keep on watching. Welcome to now 2022. I have not been posing frequently how I've been wanting to. I actually been trying to like more slowly getting back into video creating. Just I've been very busy with life. As you can see, I look very much different how I was back two years ago. But I had like nice long hair, and then I think I don't know if I was dyeing my hair. And my hair was already dyed when I was doing my videos. Um, so today we are going to do back to school makeup looks. So what we're doing is one more like if you want to be bold and want to like put yourself out there or like a nice, not glam, but like something that will put you more out there. And to get started with the video, shall we? We shall. Our first step is putting our hair back so our hair clips or hairband what I'm using will do. So what we're going to start off with um, e.l.f. Elf primer. This is like my go-to primer. I don't know because I just don't like primer I've been using. Um, I'm still like beginner in the makeup world. Let's start off with e.l.f. What we're doing here is rubbing it all over our face like to get every single bit and make sure you go down to your necks. So, First step done, we just gonna prime our face, let our face nice and ready. So what we're going to do is start off with our brows. What we're doing here is push our hairs up with like a spoolie. And then after the spoolie, since I do have two different color brows, um, I'm starting off with the color um, reddish pink on my other brow and have an ombre to blue. And then my other brow will go to just straight up black. What I do after doing the brows, I will usually add this body back to just blend it into my brows and skin. So our first step is done. We just finished putting some color on our brows. We're not quite there. Our second step is just added concealer, just sharpening our eyebrows. But other than that, let's start doing our eyebrows again. Yeah. What we're doing is putting our product under our eye eyebrows and then just shaping it how you're liking and blending down to your eyelids. That will help when you put your eyeshadow and adding that little base. And then um, what I'm doing here is adding it on my little um, eyebrow cut. So it just blends perfectly fine and looks so much better. After sharpening our eyebrows, now we can actually get started with our eyes. So I get this type of brush. I don't know my brush's name, so I bought this off on Amazon. So I'm going to go enter in this shade right here. What we're doing here is just packing it in and then after we pack it in, we start blending it with our leftover product all over our eyelids. And it should like look like this. So as you as you say, a little, little, little bit like this. And then we go add on um, using the changeable fantasy. And we're going to go up to this, um, this shade right next to the black with the same brush. More like it's like right here. I don't know what this right area is. This but this one is more pressure than it is. As you see, we're just blending it into our eyes, adding it all over our lids. And having that little um, ombre look. So as you see, we have been adding both colors to our eyes. But with the little product we have left, 
you want to put a little bit underneath our eyes. Now I'm going to show it like this. I'm going to add a bit of color, but of course, especially with me, I like my colors. So we're going to pick up another brush, a smaller one. This one, this little brush right here. And this one, you can pick your colors. I recommend using like a touch of red. So we add a little bit of the red and just pack. And like the like right here and then like just watch and then after you put in the red in putting the red in we're going to back to our first padded and then we're going to use our fingers and we're going to go into this shade right here and then we're going to pat it in the middle We're done with the eyeshadow. So after all this, you will want to put some some eyeliner. Eyeliner usually puts the whole look together with the eyes. The eyeliner that I use is from CoverGirl. I'm using Perfect Point Plus Look Eyeliner. As you see, there's a massive difference. So, the fine liner, and we're out. Personally, you could easily don't use liner for this look. You could just put on some uh, fake lashes, and you're already good to go. But We don't need the eyeliners to be twins, they're gonna be sisters. But as you can see, I did a little mistake right here, which is totally fine. What you can do is makeup remover, liquid makeup remover, and then like a little, um, don't know what it's called, I'll put it somewhere in the screen. But what I had to do is shape this, get this, take out the access, and then, Oh. It's gone. Um, you might have to like fix the liner though. Like it's bound up and switches to liquid. Usually I mess up like not mess up the like the liquid just goes far in. So I just fix it and back. So far just our face so far, and now it's time to add. The blush. So the blush I'm from um, ColourPop Extra Moon. What we're going to do is just dip our fingers. Don't worry about using your fingers. Your finger will help you a lot when it comes to makeup. Like that. And then like little dots. Like that. Like on your cheekbone. But you will get your blush brush, blush brush. Yes. And then I just just so. Alrighty, we done with blush. You can always add a little bit more. I would say don't add too much. You make you make it look like it's there. And then, of course, of course, of course, I cannot forget about highlighter. We're going to use the whitest one here in this palette. Like, just tap your fingers in. Tap. Tap. You don't need to wedge at all. And the red line, you can also add it on your nose, too. You can also add it under your eye, under your eyebrows. Ooh, that was too much. And yeah. Of course, always have like a like a handy brush to like like blend it out. Uh, leftover product up 
when we're doing our eyebrows, like the concealer. Use like a makeup brush if you still have like leftover where it does not match your skin. Make sure you have like a tinted um, a foundation, which I have right here. What I'm, I'm using is Maybelline Fit Me. Because I'm tinted moisturizer in the shade 118. Put it on your hand. It will help you ooh out in a bunch. Bring your makeup brush down. Just tap, like you tap. And make sure you have the product in there. And then make sure you blend the, the moisturizer down to your neck so it doesn't look like you have two different weird skin tones going on there. So far, this are the ones going on. So but I will use this one. I'm pretty sure we use this one for our eyes. So follow the shape of your lips what i usually do is like i i, I don't go with for my cubist mode i just add like a little bubble right there so what i usually do so as you see we put our um, shadows like in our inner lips. We're going to keep them on the same tone. Well, I'm going to use like a nice shimmer. I want to add shimmer to your lips. So let's add it. And then look at our lips. That's so nice. Our whole look going together. We love. We love. So what we are doing is this putting up of our eyes so we're gonna add some mascara and fake matches and after that we're gonna put on some setting spray and our whole look is done so I'm using a lash sensational bluish blue. I have speech impediment we'll put it on the screen right now and it's from Maybelline New York Never ever forget to do your lower lashes with mascara. It would definitely put the full look together because um, we already have so much product on our lashes when we were doing our eyeshadow and everything. And just having that little that little color on your lashes it will make it much more bold. For my lashes, my lashes are from this store called Maverick. Unfortunately, I don't remember my lashes names. Um, I just know it that I'm going to put it either somewhere in the screen or in my description. And then I already cut my lashes to like just fit the shape of my eye. But if you guys want to more like in depth on like how to do your lashes, just comment down below and I'm. I didn't even show you how to. We are using Duo Eyelash Glue. Best. Best glue you could get for your lashes. Works. Just you just need to wait till it's like, like a blue color to put it on your eyes pretty much. I do not know how anyone could use like the little tweezers for your eyelashes. I just can't. I have to use my hands. I did try to use it with the tweezers. It's so much harder so whoever is able to use tweezers to put your eyelashes in I have so much respect for you guys lash wow lash lash wow lash what do you like better comment down below And now we have a finished look with our eyes. So all we need to do is apply a setting spray and we're done. I am using Elf Stay All Night Michael Fine Setting Mist. We have up to Sissy Nama Wear. It's not going to sit on my face for that long. I'm guaranteeing you. I, I'm going to go to sleep after this. It's like 10 o'clock. 
a night. I really don't know. But yeah. My shirt is on Raven and the guy just did it. I know. This is my, one of my first uh, fans. I still have not given up. But. And now we are done. We are like glamish spot to school look. So you're going to look like a bad bitch when you walk inside those school halls. So no way not to, not to fuck around with me because like shit. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I really hope I see you guys in the next one. I really hope you guys have a very blessed day. Love you guys. You guys are bad bitches, of course. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.